Most COVID tests involve a swab going up your nose, but these researchers are looking at what goes down your drain, studying wastewater samples, science they'll soon be using to try and help the most vulnerable. It could catch an early signal, so it could be like a smoke detector signal that things are starting to, to, to come online, things are, or outbreaks are happening. His team is getting their samples from this wastewater facility. It's allowed them to monitor COVID-19 levels daily from over 910,000 people in Ottawa and detected an early outbreak days before it showed up through regular swab testing. We all go to the toilet, uh, whether you have COVID or not, whether you're symptomatic or not. Uh, and, um, and so it's a way of, of doing a survey or census on everyone every day. Labs in six provinces are doing the same kind of work, but one of the pitfalls, the testing doesn't pinpoint the locations where outbreaks are flaring up. Now the University of Ottawa, along with several other universities, are getting government support to zero in on hotspots, starting with long-term care homes. 88% uh, of people who have died from COVID so far have been residents of long-term care homes, so this would be an opportunity to try to limit that outcome. Public health officials say tapping into the sewers attached to long-term care homes like this could help catch outbreaks early, in between the mandatory testing every week or two. It could also help conserve testing resources. It would be a way of monitoring the outbreak within a facility and knowing when it actually has, has stopped. And so uh, it will offload some of those individual testing resources that we do, ideally. Testing resources that are sorely needed during the second wave, with a vaccine still months away. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.